Hello, everybody. We've been talking about converting units from one kind of unit to another kind of unit. And last time we talked about one-step conversions like inches to feet or centimeters to meters. But sometimes you're faced with a conversion and it's complicated. There are many, many steps that you have to go through before you get your final answer. And that's what we're going to talk about this time. How do you do a multiple step conversion? How do you set it up and how do you plot that course? And you really start out plotting a course from one conversion factor to another. And it's very much like plotting a route if you're going to go on a hike or drive someplace. So before we put any numbers to it, let's take a look at this is a little segment of our conversion sheet. And let's try and plot a course from kilometers to inches. So you have something in kilometers, and let's say you want to convert to inches. There's not a direct conversion, so there's many ways you could go. You could go kilometers to meters, meters to centimeters, and then centimeters to inches. You could do something like that. Another completely different route that you might take is you might say, okay, I'm going to go kilometers to miles, miles to feet, feet to inches, because I know that there's 12 inches in a foot. You could possibly go that route. Now, is one more correct than the other? And the answer is no. It's sort of like if there are two different paths to the grocery store, you can drive this way or you can drive this way. They'll both get you there and it's just which path you find most comfortable and more convenient. Um, let's try this. Now, an angstrom is a unit that is a per 1 times 10 to the negative 10th. It's about the diameter of an atom. Uh, chemists like this unit. Um, so if you want to, hit pause, take a moment, see if you can just plot. How would you get from angstroms to feet? And then we'll talk through some possibilities. Okay, let's see. How could you do that? Angstroms can convert down to meters, and we're trying to get from meters, so you could go meters to kilometers, kilometers, then we could go kilometers to miles, and then we could go miles to feet. That's one way that you could do it. Now you can see that it might take two, three, four, or more conversions sometimes, and you just follow whatever path you choose. So let's go through and look at how you would set one of these up. I want to know how many centimeters are in 13.8 miles. Okay, this is a silly question because I don't know why anybody would really want to know this, but it's a good illustration of how this would work. Remember I've said in the past, students like doing this on lined paper. So there is a definite top and a definite bottom. So I've got 13.8 miles a definite line, and my goal out here is centimeters. That's what I want. And I am going to start out with a TIE fighter. So I'm first going to convert. What am I going to convert first? Well, I think I'm going to first convert from miles to feet, because I know that conversion. I'm real comfortable with it. The first thing you do is put the unit you want to get rid of, kitty corner from itself, so that one's on top, one's on the bottom. Always put units in first. So miles on top, miles on the bottom. I'm going to convert to feet. And one mile is 5,280 feet in one mile. As you go this through this process, cross out the units that are one on top, one on bottom as you go. And do not, do not, capital N for not, Pick up your calculator until you, the very, very, very end, because that will just mess you up. Just write it out on paper and only pick up your calculator at the end. So I've now, the only unit I'm left with is feet, and I'm still trying to get to centimeters. So I'm going to go, I think, feet to meters. Let's do this. So I have got, hmm, get rid of feet, go to meters, and one foot is 0 0.305 meters, cross out feet, keep meters, and I'm aiming for centimeters. How many centimeters are in a meter? Well, one meter is 100 centimeters, get rid of meters, 
keep centimeters, 100 centimeters in a meter. I'm going to grab my calculator because I want to do this. 13.8 times 5,280 times 0 0.305 times 100. And when I do that, I get an answer of 222. 2352, big number, because this is a small unit, so it's going to be a lot of them in that many miles. Now, so that's going to be that many centimeters. We'll talk more about significant future, significant digits in the future, but we started with three digits. I'm going to round this to three digits. So this is going to be 2,220,000 2, centimeters. That's what I'm going to end up with. Pretty cool. If you choose a different path, you might have a slightly different answer down here because some of these conversion factors have been rounded so that they don't go on forever and ever. But when you round them to the correct number of significant, significant digits, you will always get the same answer. Let's try another one. All right. How many seconds are in one hour. Hit pause, see if you can set this up, and then we'll try it together. All right, my friends. Straight line, I have one hour, and my goal is seconds. I'm going to set up a TIE fighter. Now, I'm going to assume you know how many hours, minutes, seconds are in each other. So I want to get rid of hours. Where do I put it? One on top, one on the bottom, and I'm going to go from hours to minutes. 60 minutes are in one hour. Cross those out. I've got minutes and now I'm not, I'm not done yet because I want to get seconds. How do I do that? One more TIE fighter. Get rid of minutes to get rid of minutes. I want minutes on top, minutes on the bottom. Next is seconds. How many seconds are in a minute? 60. Then cross these out. The only, only unit I am left with is seconds. This tells me what to do. 1 times 60 times 60, and when I do the math, 3,600 seconds. Now, you might say, this is one digit. Do I round this off? Eh, well, these are exact. These are exact conversions because there are exactly 60 seconds in a minute, and if we are talking about exactly one hour, you do not round off. And that's why we're going to have a separate discussion about significant digits later. Okay, hit pause, try this one, pints, two liters. Now, when I did this, I got 3.2 pints, definite top, definite bottom. I chose to go pints, to gallons, pints to gallons. I want to get rid of pints, so where do I put it? Bottom. I'm going to keep gallons, put that on top. One gallon, eight pints. Cross out as you go. Do not pick up your calculator yet. Now I want to go gallons to liters, so now I'm going to go gallons to liters. One more TIE fighter. Get rid of gallons. Keep liters. One gallon is that many liters, so one gallon is 3.786 liters. If it is on the top, you multiply. If it's on the bottom, you divide. So what I do is 3.2 divide by symbol 8 equals, multiply by symbol 3.786 equals, and when I did this, I got an answer of 1.514 liters. And I started with two digits, and I'm going to round this to two digits, 1.5 liters. Okay, try the next one. 4.5 ounces to kilograms. Now, before I let you go on this, think about this. This can be really tricky because there are two kinds of ounces. There are fluid ounces and there are weight ounces. So sometimes you need a clue which one you're using. This is going to kilograms, so this is going to be weight ounces. That's why you're going to be here. If you were converting this to 
liters or gallons or something, then you would be talking about fluid ounces. So hit pause, make this conversion, then we'll talk through it. Okay, 4.5 ounces, and I am going to try and get to kilograms. And let me show you a shortcut. Now, one of the things that some of you are really smart, and you may have seen this already, is you could go from ounces to pounds and then from pounds back to kilograms. And that would be a lovely path and that would work. But if you're lazy, and I'm essentially a very lazy person, if there's a fast way to do it, I want to do it the fast way. What you can do is, instead of going two TIE Fighters, you can do it in one. Since the 16 ounces and this many kilograms both equal the same thing, they both equal one pound, you can make these two the top and the bottom of your TIE Fighter. So I'm going to do that. I want to get rid of ounces. I want to keep kilograms because my goal is to have kilograms on the top and the bottom is 16 ounces. The top is 0 0.45359 kilograms. Ounces will cancel. Kilograms will stay. When I put it all through my calculator, I got 0 0.12757. And then I started with two digits. I want to end with two digits, 0 0.13 kilograms. And remember, when you do your homework, you're going to have to show your work. So what do I mean by showing your work? This, set up the TIE Fighters and cross out the things that cancel. You need the practice. Have a good one, and we'll see you later. Bye. Ooh.